Good morning, I'm meteorologist Amber Wheeler. This is your one minute forecast on this Monday, January 3rd. Temperatures are, are cooling a little bit this morning because we've got a cold front moving in from the north. You'll notice here that the temperatures will fall through the morning, uh, but we will get some heating from the sun later today. You can see here this afternoon we'll start seeing some 20s in the south, but keeping it rather cold there in the north around the Minot area. Minot, I believe you're probably seeing your daytime highs early in the day. Uh, we could see warming everywhere else. Here are some of the highlights for the week that I've picked out for you. Uh, things to know going into the next few days. We've got a warm Monday. I've got uh, warm in quotations because we're not seeing sub-zero temperatures like we saw all last week and like we will see later in this forecast. Tuesday, we're talking snow and wind, so keep that in mind. Bitterly cold temperatures, they're back as we head into Wednesday and into Thursday. Those are going to be our coldest days. Right now, the satellite and radar this morning, it's about 4.15 a.m. Pretty quiet out there, and then you'll see here through the day today, we do have uh, really just a quiet forecast for us. Light winds, that helps. Uh, heading into uh, Tuesday, we have a system moving in from the northwest, a quick moving system. This could bring a chance for some accumulating snow. It looks kind of likely here, and here's how much we could see, uh, maybe a trace to three inches for many, but to the northeast is where we could see the most uh, three to five, possibly pockets of over five. So something I'm watching that's heading into Wednesday morning. So Tuesday into early Wednesday morning. Over the next week and beyond, again, there's the big cool down there for Wednesday and Thursday. It's a cold one. Uh, we do have what looks to be a bigger warm up as we head into next week. You can call it the January thaw, if you will. We get it every January. Uh, there's no scientific basis on the January thaw. We just call it that when we go above freezing. We start melting some of that snowpack. That's going to happen here heading into the next week. So it looks like we've got another kind of cold week. Not as cold as last week. Uh, some dangerous wind chills, of course, on the way with that as well. Not a lot of snow chances after